Welcome back, everyone. I'm Tarane Saylor. <clears throat> it's really lovely to be here with all of you this evening, and I appreciate you being here and your kind attention. And if you were here a little bit before we started, I mentioned our theme tonight is loving kindness, meditation, love. And I'd like to set the theme for our time together with this amazing quote, again from Tara Brock, this, this new book that she has out. Quote, May we trust and live from the purity of our boundless radiant heart. And may we hold hands as we awaken together bringing our shared caring to this precious, troubled, mysterious, and beautiful world." End quote. So this evening, our shared ground of being based in this boundless, radiant heart of love, that's our theme. And tonight, I want to share with you a few thoughts about the radiant heart in each of us and the love that it illuminates and how that love radiates from us in the form of metta, loving kindness, love. We have a wonderful opportunity tonight to do this together, to combine our sangha power to experience this in unity. And I know many of you resonate with Rick's science-oriented neurodharma. And I'd just like to connect here that the Heart Math Institute, you may have heard of it, the Heart Math Institute is all about the science of the heart and loving kindness. And I'm a big fan of their work and studies. And they've done amazing work studying the effects of heart-focused meditation, heart-focused breathing, for individual benefit, but they also studied and documented the power of groups like this group right here, synchronizing their heart focused meditation. And I've put a link in the chat to their site and their short video entitled uh, love synchronizes our hearts with each other and the earth. But you know, the Buddha knew this. 2,600 years ago <laughs> without the Heart Math Institute. And this evening, in a little bit, I'll guide you in heart-focused breathing and a deep dive into a wholesome state, an uplifting state, love, loving kindness, metta. The Buddha described wholesome states as those which lead toward and not away from liberation those that lead toward and not away from liberation. He emphasizes the importance of cultivating wholesome states as a path to liberation. Buddha says that you should practice keeping the wholesome states you have currently and cultivate the ones you don't have. And for most of us, most of us know about the Brahma Viharas, the wholesome states we're most familiar with, the divine abodes, the four immeasurables, all names for the Brahma Viharas. And those four are loving kindness, compassion, empathetic joy, and equanimity. Now the Buddha tells us that you may cultivate the heart's release by loving kindness. You may cultivate the heart's release by loving kindness. And Buddha gives emphasis to loving kindness as having a unique effect. He teaches that is an antidote to agitation and fear. And right now in the world, there is all around us quite a bit of agitation and fear. So I feel cultivating this loving, wholesome state now and sharing it as metta, loving kindness is very timely in many ways. 
The Buddha's Metta Sutta, one of the most loved suttas of all about loving kindness and dissolving the misconception of separation from other that causes us agitation and fear, uh, and all the stories that come with those unwholesome states. The Metta Sutta, the Loving Kindness Sutta, came about when the Buddha's followers were having trouble meditating in a certain foreboding forest, and they felt it was already occupied by evil and harassing spirits. So they were having trouble sitting, went to the Buddha and complained. The forest is full of harassing evil spirits. And the Buddha, well, he understood this. The followers were so full of worry, they couldn't find any inner peace and stillness because they were so agitated with fear. So the Buddha gave them the Metta Sutta. This is where the Metta Sutta came from as an antidote to these fears and agitations. And as the story goes, the followers practice their meditation on the Metta Sutta in the forest and their presence became so harmonious. The spirits that occupied the forest welcomed them and left them in peace to meditate. I've put a copy of the Metta Sutta in the chat. It's in, in two parts because that's just the way it had to come through in the chat. So you can see it there. So this evening, I wanna offer everyone an opportunity to spend some time in that wholesome state of love and loving kindness. And I'll do a guided meditation for the heart's release through cultivating the wholesome state of loving kindness and being immersed in love this feeling of being one with, as we synchronize in the heart, the divine abode. So I invite you to just let these words guide you and flow over you receiving the benefit of the wholesome intention held within the words. Okay. So go ahead now and make yourself very comfortable. Get into a meditative posture, closing your eyes and allow your energy to settle. Go inside and observe the intention to let stillness set in. Notice your hands resting. and the contact of your hands where they rest. The temperature there, warmth or coolness. And now noticing your shoulders. and how they may soften. And maybe your jaw and neck also. Become softened. And you can become more aware of your breath. as it enters and then leaves the body. And I'm going to guide you to take 
three deep breaths. So take that first gentle deep breath into the belly and up into the heart area and hold it for a few seconds. And breathe out from the heart area. Your awareness in the heart area. You may like to place your hand on your heart if that seems natural. And now take another deep, gentle breath into the belly and then it up into the heart area and hold it for a few seconds. Let it expand and fill your whole body and exhaling from the heart area, releasing and relaxing. With each breath more relaxed and calm, the heart focused breathing, bringing a shift, a pleasant sensation over the body. And now take a third gentle deep breath into the belly and into the heart area and hold it for a few seconds. Let it expand and fill your whole body. And exhaling from the heart area, relaxed awareness in the heart area. Good. And now keep your awareness around the heart area, allowing the regular breath to flow in suffusing you with peace and calm. Peace and calm. And the breath flows out, releasing everything. Sensing the heart focused breathing, your awareness now on this rhythm, your rhythm, and your body. and the soft feeling it brings from the heart and outward. To saturate your whole body. You may notice a shift now to feeling and being. While you become more aware of the sensations of this shift, Feeling and being. Breathing. In and out from the heart space.
you may have already melted into the rhythm or will in a moment. While soft awareness of your presence feels very pleasant. Sensing the essence of your presence. Here. Now. Breathing. Feeling and being your essence. Sensing the calm awareness. Here, now, flowing deeper and deeper into the rhythmic energy within you. Synchronizing with your own inner stillness, the calm in your heart and body. your own energetic field, the essence of your being. And this essence is not the personality you express. And separate from the expectations of the world, apart from the stories about yourself. This sensation of the essence of awareness calm, soft, very pleasant and easy. With each heart focused breath, deeper and deeper into the rhythmic energy within you. Returning home now. To this soft field of awareness. Returning to your origin. And from here, the soft heart space
you can feel and remember the unconditional love your very being originates from. From this heartfelt tranquility comes the insight of connection to the all, to source. There are many names, the divine, God, the creator, the universe. the ground of being, the first cause, the awe. This source loved you into existence, brought you forth just as you are. as an amazing expression of unlimited love, boundless loving kindness. Feel the immensity of this love. And from this love, you are given free will to learn, to make mistakes, to grow, to create, to experience, to know, to gain wisdom, to seek liberation. And all this is the mystery of the Creator knowing more of itself. Unconditional love is the essence, the fabric, the ground of being, your being, all beings. Feel the immensity of this love. This powerful love that is within you and also all around you. You are made of love within love 
and you are love. And you are made to radiate and reflect loving kindness. Feel deeply and deeply trust and deeply absorb that you are love. and loved. You are worthy and deserve this love. Feel firmly rooted in this understanding and trust in this love, the love you are, the love you have to give. Abide in this love. Abide in the divine abode held in loving kindness by all that is. Love is the fabric of existence. As this love is already you, There's no one or circumstance that can take away this love or give it to you, as this love is already you. There is no one or circumstance that can confirm for you that you deserve love. Your value and worth are affirmed by your existence and the unconditional love that created you. Your very nature of being is lovable. No need to wait for any signs or events. You are love and you are lovable just as you are right now. You're created with free will to choose, to trust and to know and to act on the understanding that you are loved. It is your free will. You give yourself permission To know that you are loved and that you are love. Deeply connected to your true essence of love now. 
remembering yourself as love. And you can now dissolve thoughts of unworthiness that do not belong to you. Release any doubts. Release the hindrances that obscure love. Your free will and the healing nature of unconditional love melts away old beliefs, unwholesome states, and this release makes more room for those good feelings, wholesome states like joy, compassion, and equanimity. that spread throughout your body and mind. Choose the empowerment of this healing unconditional love within you. Allow the joy of this acceptance and celebration that you are love. And that you are loved. Allow that to shine within you, identifying with the powerful, joyful feeling of love as you are. Allow the world to reflect back to you this love inside you. And sense the comfort and safety in this love. Love and support surround you and nurture you in all its nurturing forms, abundantly, overflowing with love. And you let this love flow from you and allow the world to reflect this love back to you. Love flows freely. simply allowing the awareness of your true nature, unconditional love, to shine in your life, in joy and trust and faith, as a beloved child of the universe. You are abundant in love, overflowing with love, and you let this love flow from you. The Buddha tells us to share this loving kindness with the world by practicing a meditation of radiating love, radiating loving kindness out to the world. And he says to do it in this way.
reflect and radiate this loving kindness from your being out in front of you. Radiate this loving kindness from your being, from the back of you. Radiate from your being this loving kindness to the right of you. Radiate from your being this loving kindness to the left of you. Radiate this loving kindness above you. And below you. And all around you. Radiate from your being this loving kindness to fill the space all around you, the space that you're in. And from this infinite supply, radiating out further outside the building you're in. Radiating it out into the neighborhood. From an infinite, unending supply radiating it out into the town or the city you're in. Radiating it out over the region where you live, over the forests and the valleys and the roads, and the lakes, mountains, and plains, over the province or state, over all the states and provinces, radiated out over the entire continent, from this infinite supply out over the oceans, radiating out over all the oceans, over all the continents, surrounding the entire earth in the energy of loving kindness. enveloping the earth and all beings. A 
excluding none. Including all. In the all. In a moment, when you open your eyes, things may seem to be the same on the surface, but you will know deep within you that there has been a change, a shift. With this moment, we have collectively shared. Abiding in the divine abode of loving kindness. May each of you and all beings and the earth benefit from this. Going forward now with the heart's release through loving kindness. And now becoming aware of your body, your posture, and your breath, the room where you are. Coming back to this present moment and opening your eyes when you're ready.